The correct answer is C. Alan Lane provided the voice of the horse, of course. Kind of disappointing in you, Mr. A. Hey, up. If you're just joining us, I'm Chris, the host of Show What You Know, the only online quiz show hosted by me that's guaranteed to test your knowledge. Knowledge is learning something new so you can be better at whatever you do. We've got two questions and three players left. Curry fan, play to win, and my good friend Ty, who's made it further in the quiz than he's ever made it before. If any of these contestants can answer the last two questions, that means they're one smart cookie. And their prize today is chocolate chip, homemade by Grandma Alice. And let's be clear, this chocolate chip cookie is one of the best in Grandma Alice's repertoire. So there's a lot on the line. Let's get to it. Question nine. Famed San Francisco Island prison Alcatraz stopped housing prisoners in what year? Was it A, 1953, B, 1963, C, 1983, or D, 2013? Go. Hmm, let's see who knows their San Francisco prison history. Curry fan thinks it's B. Mm-hmm. Play to win says C. What do you think, Ty? Huh? Ty says B. <laughs> and the answer is B. Way to go, Curry fan and Tyson 328, whatever. <laughs> Play to win, you made it a long way. But alas, you've been eliminated. So close. <sighs> Question 10. I'm so excited. I can hardly wait. Question 10. The meringue on lemon meringue pie is made up of egg whites, sugar, and which other ingredient? A, cream of tartare. B, egg yolks. C, cayenne pepper. Or D, nutmeg. Choose carefully. Curry fan thinks you say. Tyson? He says D. And the correct answer is D. Nutmeg. Tyson is the winner. Tyson is the winner. T uh, hold on a second. The computer says A is the answer. Nah, there must be some mistake. I could have sworn the answer was D. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do here. It's a good thing that in today's Bible story, We'll hear what John the Baptist did when he wasn't sure about something. But in the meantime, I think having trouble with Wi-Fi is... The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 1 through 6. John the Baptist had been sent to prepare the way for Jesus. I'm just a messenger but someone is standing among you whom you do not know. I'm not good enough to untie his sandals. Then Jesus came to John and asked to be baptized. Let it be this way for now. It is right for us to do this. It carries out God's holy plan. And God himself confirmed to John and everyone else that Jesus was indeed God's chosen one. This is my son and I love him. I am very pleased with him. So John must have felt like he was on top of the world. He was on the right track, doing exactly what God had called him to do. Mission accomplished. But then the story shifted. John, uh, outspoken as always, had dared speak truth to Herod, ruler of Galilee. You've done wrong things against God. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm rubber, you're glue. It'll bounce off me and stick to you. Seriously? Guards, throw him in prison. Just for speaking God's truth, John was trapped in prison. Some of his followers were allowed to visit and they gave him all the news. So Jesus talked this incredible sermon. Sitting up on a mountainside. And he's healing all these people, even a Roman soldier's servant. Oh, and Peter's mother-in-law. We haven't even told you the really impressive stuff yet. Wow, that's great for everyone else. 
It must have been difficult for John to make sense of the stories. I mean, Jesus was out there doing amazing things, yet God had allowed John to be jailed, and there was no sign of rescue. So we're sure Jesus is the one God has sent. Well, there was that voice from heaven. Yeah, but if Jesus is it, why am I stuck here? No clue, man. I just need to know. Could you ask him for me? Who, Jesus? Yes. Take him a message from me. What do we say? Uh, try this. Are you the one who was supposed to come? Or should we look for someone else? Okay, got it. Wait, could we rhyme that? Rhyme it? I remember stuff better when it rhymes. You know, like, are you the one who is to come? Or should we look for another one? That's not actually a rhyme. You know what? I got this. John's followers left the prison cell and hurried along the dusty roads of Galilee to find Jesus. Oh, check out that crowd. Where's Jesus? Oh, I can see. There's, wow, is, is that what a tree looks like? John's followers crowded in closer. Ahead, they spotted Jesus holding out his hand to another man on a mat. I'm standing. I'm walking. At last, John's disciples reach Jesus. Uh, your cousin John sent us to ask you something. Um, uh, let me think. Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another one? Jesus studied the two men. He took in the crowd around them, some of them laughing and crying for joy, others crowding in, waiting to be healed. Go back to John. Report to him what you hear and see. Blind people receive sight, disabled people walk, those who have skin diseases are made clean. Deaf people hear. Those who are dead are raised to life. And the good news is preached to those who are poor. Blessed is anyone who does not give up their faith because of me. John's followers looked at the crowd around them. Everything Jesus had spoken was true. I could remember all that better if it rhymed. Don't, just don't. So John's disciples headed back to Herod's prison. Jesus' answer to John's question was clear. Only God's son had this kind of power. And God still cared about and loved John, even though he was still stuck in prison. Yep. Okay, so, so you think that would be best? <sighs> okay. Thank you, Grandma Alice. Oh, by the way, that chocolate chip smells delicious. <clears throat> yep. Love you too. Love you more. <clears throat> Bye. Got it figured out. So, I just asked my grandma Alice about the whole lemon meringue debate because I figured who better to ask about bacon than her. So, now I can finally announce that the winner is one of these two people. But I wouldn't have known which one if I hadn't asked. That's an important lesson. If you don't know something, ask someone. That's what John the Baptist did. John had been taught his whole life that for hundreds of years, God had promised to send a savior to the world. John believed the savior that God promised was Jesus. But after John was thrown in jail, he began to have doubt. But instead of giving up or assuming the worst, John did what all of us should do when we're not sure about something. He asked. And Jesus made it clear that he was the savior of the world. So if you don't know something, ask someone who knows. If you don't know how to play soccer, ask a soccer player. If you don't know how to play the drums, ask a drummer to show you how to play. If you don't know how to bake, you can ask my grandma Alice. And then there are the tougher questions, the ones that keep you up at night. Where is God? Why didn't God answer my prayers when I wanted him to? Why does God let bad things happen to people? Look, you're going to question God. Ask someone, or better yet, ask God himself. James, one of Jesus' brothers, once wrote, if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He'll give it to you. God will give you wisdom. It may not be instantly. It may be something that happens over time, but keep looking to God to help you understand what he wants for you. So the thing to remember for today is, if you don't understand something about God, ask. Now, after talking to Grandma Alice, I discovered that when she makes meringue, she does indeed put nutmeg in the recipe. However, many recipes call for cream of tartare in meringue. So that means both of you are smart cookies. Yeah. Okay, so, you each get half a cookie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Grandma Alice made a whole batch. Come on over when you get a chance. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, 
If you don't know something, don't be afraid to ask. And if you do know something, always take the time to show what you know. Mm.